So we got one of the top bar hives set, or one of the top bar. We have the top bars finished on one of the swarm boxes. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Just get the saw out of the way a little. There it is. Got the top bars in. We got it screwed together. Still got to put a, an entry hole in it, a piece across the top to stop the top bars from moving. And I got some scrap plywood over there I'm going to cut a piece out of and put on top of it. Then when it goes into a tree, we're going to need, uh, we may need to make a mount to mount this into the tree, but that's not a big deal. Probably just a few pieces of two by four. Got all my top bars cut, got the uh, curves cut in the center of them, got them into the swarm boxes. I went digging in the garage and found a set of leftover hinges from when I did the cabinets at the cabin because I thought I was going to have more than I did. So, let's get in here. We're going to go ahead, get me a little drill bit out. So I can pilot hole these. Probably gonna need this too. Now these bars here and here I'm putting in so that the top bars don't come out when it gets moved. Because when I do move these, if they get bees in them. You'll take the whole swarm box down, take it down to where your hive is, you'll open these, move that out of the way, and then you will take a top bar out and put it into the hive. So really, once, it's, once the bees are on the bars, the bars are what move. And they will move from the swarm box to the top bar hive. Now. When I do that, I need to do that in such a way that we make sure the bees don't go back to the swarm box. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these initial holes, pilot holes drilled. And I'm going to do one and then get one of these little screws out and screw it into place. So that I can put this where I want it All right, and drill the other four holes. Here we go. Now because these hinges were designed for cabinet doors, they actually have a spring in them and kind of lock in place, so they may work better than I expected. And honestly, I don't remember what I paid for them. As I said, I bought them for the cabinetry in the cabin and didn't use them. Ended up going with uh, curtains instead of doors. But they weren't expensive. They were probably less than a dollar a, piece, a set. So we got this first one in. Oh yeah. That actually locks that in place pretty well. It's not perfect. But I can make do. Nothing's ever actually perfect. Alright, we'll get this first pilot hole drilled. Get these little screws out. kind of locks the hinge in place so that when I drill the rest of the holes it doesn't move. Alright. 
Now for the fun part. We get these in. And it will be time for me to drill the entry holes. Give the bees a way to get inside. We're about ready to put the access holes. How the bees get into it, and that's where these little puppies come in handy. <coughs> these are lids off coffee cans. And they're yellow. Bees like the color yellow. What I'm going to do is come up here, right about there. Get on this one first. I'm come right about here. Put a screw in the middle of it. This drill bit is about a third of an inch. A little bit bigger than a third of an inch. I'm going to come in and do the first one. The second one. There's two access holes, and I'm going to come in with my pocket knife, clean that up just a little bit. Okay, so there's the two access holes for the bees. So when the hive or when the swarm box is occupied and I'm ready to actually move it, I rotate that, and the bees are now trapped inside. If I want, I can put this hole there, they have one access hole. Or I can give them the full two. Makes it real easy to lock these hives off. Or these, uh, makes it real easy to lock these swarm boxes off. And come midsummer when swarms are less likely or not happening, I can come in and rotate those around just like that and no wasps will get into them either so that's pretty much it all that's left is for me to cut a couple of pieces of plywood just to set over the top of it and then when I get out there if I need to I'll cut some 2 by 4 to nail into the tree to set them on but I'm gonna try and find some branches that are at about the right height and V shape that I can just wedge these down into and bungee cord them into place that's it. That is a couple of top bar swarm boxes to match my top bar hives.